Hello again my friends, and yes, another 170 second skill tank kit from Trumpeter, as this time it is a T62 BDD 1984 modification, as the T62 underwent a huge change in wards of its uh, armor protection against RPGs and other, uh, so like, heat rounds, or with plastic tip rounds they may try and penetrate the armor and with you can see the difference on the trumpeter t62 but as you can see this kit comes with very simplified parts there are some already pre-built as well as the tracks and hull and a very easy going uh, paint color scheme that you can see here You can also create some armor texture on the turret with this Tamiya Grey Liquid Surface Primer as you want to use an old brush and use a tapping motion to create the rough surface on the model. And bam, here is the finished build of the model. I'm sorry if I didn't show you if I added on the modifications, but I felt it would have been a little bit too long for you to see me add on all these things. But later I will show you what I used and what products uh, that I added on to this T62. But now let's see how I prime the model with this new third generation AK acrylic primer, which you can actually brush paint on. And here I use for the wood, a plastic a little thin board, a lead foil product, a steel mesh, and some pegasus bricks, and some fine buff uh, ballast for the rubble and, and texture uh, you see on the model. And brush painting on this black primer is very easy when applying on a brush, required with no thinning and just in a fast application as it self levels and adheres to the model very well. And now for the first base coat color of the model, and you, if you want to get a nice, almost semi-vibrant, or maybe more realistic, depending on what you're going for on the model, and remember, it's your model, and no one else can tell you if it's right or wrong, because it's subjective. But still, if you want a realistic, nice green, or modern Russian green on the model, you can mix olive green and flat green, as you saw there from Vallejo, to get this nice, uh, as I went for, a little bit of vibrant green. As also later on, I will mix in this dark yellow, or you can even mix in a little bit of buff to help lighten the color, as it seems like as maybe some chips, or maybe some uh, fading from the hot sun that it may have endured during its uh, combat action. And as you can see here, the model is nicely faded with some slight subtle variations of color with the dark yellow effect. But now let's see how I show you, well not exactly show you how I painted, but what I used on painting the accessories like the rubble, the lead foil, which is a nice little tarp, 
at the end of the gun barrel, the rubber side skirts, and as well as the uh, wood that you see that is collapsed from a, a building that has landed on the end of the tank. If you're wondering how I have the pigments sort of uh, straight out of the bottle from the buff Tamiya paint that I'm using here for our obvious dust effect, is how I placed the soap and the water first before I added the paint into my palette. You may notice on this weird broken up parts of pigments on my M4 Sherman video in 148 scale. Now for some rust effects, I use this life color corroded rust color, which is very nice for when seeing the tracks looking very weathered with the rust simulating the trapped mud and dust onto the tracks. And you can see this when you look up photos of most tanks out in the desert, but you can also even use an even darker rust tone color for certain areas of chips of corrosion as well as the tracks. And now I'm using German Camouflage Black Brown for the deeper uh, cuts of oxidization that has just begun, so like this shell impact that have ricocheted off the turret here, and it, it creates a nice illusion effect of creating a hot uh, color <laughs> of the tank and to then later on add rust effects to make it look like it has corroded over time. And if you can't get enough of rust, you can use Vejo Rust Wash, or sorry if you can read it there, as it's pretty much been rubbed off, uh, a life color paint called Burned Rust, to give nice, uh, look for example here, around the fuel caps on the front of the tank to give us a nice uh, rust effect that you may have seen around uh, other vehicles when dust reacts with fuel stains and it gives it a nice rusty color as well as when it reacts with moisture, which is a interesting and strange effect, if I say so myself. I would like to thank you all so much for watching as I hope you enjoyed the video on this little Russian T62 kit in 172nd scale from Trumpeter as I am very satisfied with the overall result. Hopefully I will see you all next time.